Hello there, my name's Paisley. Welcome back to my Dark Souls 3 Let's Play. Uh, when we left off, I was said I was going to go do the boss, but... There's a doorway right there. <laughs> so unfortunately, uh, I'm just by patches if you, if you didn't know, but... Uh, just up here, there's something as well. I, I want to try to flush out as much of the area as possible on my first time through. That way I, I don't have to do as many of those... Uh, those... Uh, catch-up episodes, or the Stuff I Missed episodes, but you are... Uh, you are kind of disgusting and very easy to kill. I don't know what those spike- ooh. Okay. Oh! Holy cow. See that wide hole, oh, you little shit. Yeah, these uh, the wide sw uh, swiping arcs of the claymore are very handy with situations like that. The bandit knife would have been useless. Ooh. Why aren't you attacking me? Try attacking. Red Sign Soapstone. Awesome. Yeah, I did, yeah, that was kind of weird that it wasn't attacking me, but whatever. Friend ahead, but let there be death. Okay, it seems like I did the right thing anyway. Uh, I'll, I'll read what that is really quickly and I'll explain what you use it for. So, Red Soapstone. So you remember I explained the White Sign Soapstone. The Red Sign Soapstone is Leave Red Antagonizing Invasion Sign. It's an online play item. Create a hostile red invasion sign. Be summoned to another world as a dark spirit and defeat the host of embers to gain the strength of fire. Not all dark spirits are unsupporting. Oh, sorry. Not all dark spirits are unsporting or they wouldn't make use of the soapstone. So the idea is this is voluntary, or voluntary invasion. You put down this summon sign, somebody summons you for a fight, essentially. Uh, it's If you don't want to just invade random people, you want to invade people who are actually ready to fight. Uh, you can essentially set up dueling and all kinds of crazy stuff with that. But, uh, I think that is everything now. So I think we should be good for the boss fight. I think that's over there. Which means I'm gonna have to get frickin' past that dude. I should be able to just run past him, maybe. I might summon if, if it's an option. I don't know if patches will want, want to be summoned or something like that. There's a potential for that, so... If that's the case, then I'll, I'll I'll summon I'll summon NPC phantoms, if if possible, just because uh, there might be some lore aspects to it as well as some potential missed dialogue options or who knows. Okay, that dude hasn't seen me yet, and that's a dead end. So the only thing I can really do is... Oh, I wonder. I wonder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something cheeky here. Don't notice me, please. Wow, I cannot believe that worked. This is on, like, the level of Snake in his box. That dude's following me. He's suspicious. Oh, he knows I'm... He knows I'm here. Alright. Alright. Ooh, I heard a summon sign. That might be just a regular person, though. Ah, uh, screw off. <laughs> just filled him with throwing knives. Alright, that's definitely, uh... That's definitely a player character. Oh, maybe. Actually. Let's see. No, it's not. It's Anri. Let's see what about this one. And th this seems to be your friend. Horus the Hushed. Yep. Let's see what happens if I bow at them.
So if you remember, uh, these are the uh, the two uh, characters we met just outside the uh, the swamp there uh, on the uh, what was that? The Road of Sacrifices, I think it was, it was called there. So these are two NPC summons. I'm not summoning people to help me, just NPCs. And I don't even know what's behind this. So let's take a look, shall we? Deacons of the Deep. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh sh Oh, that one's fat. I'm gonna kill that one. Oh, that I see. That one's like a tank. This is crazy. Ooh! No, don't kick. This is one of those. This is an ad boss fight. Ooh! No, don't hit me. I didn't even heal, did I? No. Come at me, big fatso. Don't kick. Stop kicking. Yeah, this is more of like a... Just a... Like, I would barely even call this a boss fight. Unless something crazy happens. You have poise. Man. Ah! Woo. Luckily, these guys don't do a whole lot of damage. Holy shit. Taking three hits, though. Let's kill the little dudes first. And then focus on the big dudes. Thank you, Armory. Stab you in the back. Oh, that was a uh, that was the force uh, miracle spell. So, like, if you notice, their health bar is not really going down. So, there must be something else to this boss fight. So, I should be trying to save as many. Oh, wait a second. They're walking out from underneath. What's behind here? How the heck do you keep getting summoned? Be wary of lonely. They just keep getting resummoned. Hmm. This is a trick boss, I can tell. So I gotta figure this out. Oh, I've dealt damage, but who... The dude with, that's on fire there, he's probably the deacon. Let's see. Oh, yep, that dealt damage. So look for the ones that were... Ooh, have red aura. There he is. Uh, let's see. Is it the one with the candlelit? No, there's multiple with candlelit. Ooh. Oh, there, there's the one with the red. Yep. Okay, so that seems to be the pattern. Anybody who's... Oh. That dude. I'm trying to see where the heck that goes. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? They're backing off now. Ooh. -oh. What are they doing? What are they doing? I don't know what they're doing. What are they doing? Ooh! Ooh! No, 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 
Well, I found the deacon, dude. I don't know what the heck the that shit does. Let's kill you, fox. Oh, that was a bad roll. I gotta get at that guy. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Shit. Get a big hit. Oh, how did that miss? All I gotta do is kill this dude and I'm and I've done the fight. Ooh. Shit. I don't want my dudes to die either. There we go. <laughs> oh, Henry, you were very close to dying. So I got Small Doll, Soul of Deacons of the Deep. And that's it, eh? Okay. I wonder what the Small Doll is. So Deacons of the Deep is the soul. But there, there it is. One of the Twisted Souls steeped in strength. Soul of the Deacons of the Deep, one of the Twisted Souls steeped in strength, used to acquire many souls or transposed to extract its true strength. After Aldrich left for the Boreal Valley, Archdeacon Royce remained in the cathedral with the High Priests to keep eternal watch over their master's coffin. Ooh. A coffin, eh? Uh, let's see here. I got a... I got... Was that a key, maybe? Aha! Small doll. Small silverwork doll depicting a young squire in the legendary old city of Ithriel, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Sullivan gave this doll to valued subjects so that they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. Listen carefully and you can hear it say, wherever you go, the moon still sets in Ithriel. Wherever you may be, Ithriel is your home. Hmm, interesting. Holy shit, my hollowing's up, up high. I got five dark scissors. I'm still debating whether I should, because like... My dude, I, I I can't even see his face. Let's let's take a look for a second. What, what's he looking like? Ooh, wow, ooh, ooh, yeah, not not very pretty. But I mean, I put that on and it's all better. So if the hollowing only affects your physical appearance, I don't see a bit. Like I'm worried I'm gonna lose the levels if I reverse it. I'm gonna use this bonfire really quick before I forget. But I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure at all. Anyway, uh, I'm going to. I'm gonna go uh, to the Firelink Shrine really quick. Uh, actually, let's go there together. Might as well. And if there is nothing of importance in the Firelink Shrine, because I'm just gonna go through a level in and buy uh, upgrade. Or sorry, yeah, I might upgrade my weapon and stuff like that. But uh, let's see, is there any NPC? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. There is some people to talk to, so not not the worst idea in the world. Oh, it's uh, Annie and her, and her horse. Oh, and we meet again. We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Andre of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. The man eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farren Keep, and so becomes our destination. Yeah, I was there with you. I helped you. Or you helped me more. Uh, but I guess, whatever, anyway. Aldrich's honest home is Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farren Keep, and so becomes our destination. 
And what do you got to say? Uh, I heard you're quite the conversationalist. <clears throat> yeah, same old, same old. Alright. So interesting, it's cool to see that they are back. I am going to go talk to the Crestfallen Knight really quick. See if he's got anything new and different to say, other than light the fire of something. Gaining admission to, to the, the Legion, Legion. yeah. Inside their keep, snuffing out the flames of three altars, opens the door to the wolf. Even a cursed undead. I... <laughs> okay, so he says the same thing still, but, uh... Yeah, I can tell this is going to be a long Let's Play, because, I mean, I, I, I haven't even started getting any of the, uh... These dudes. And it's... I'm already, like, 20-plus episodes, so... Aha, thou returned, and a fine day it is. So, let's see, do you have anything? Knowest thou of a five thrones? Yeah, nothing new. Knows uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm gonna cut here, and, uh, I'll go upgrade, do the, everything. If I find another NPC, I'll throw it in, but, uh, for the most part, I'll meet you back at the Cathedral of the Deep. See you in a second. Hello, welcome back. Uh, yeah, there was nothing else of their of interest there. I just put a level, and unfortunately, I put it into endurance. Uh, I, I forgot I was leveling up my faith. I need one more point of faith for that um, that insanely powerful miracle where it gives me an extra life. <laughs> Essentially, when I die, it, it revives me. I don't know how well it works or how good it is, but we shall see. Uh, I thought I'd at least go to 15 faith to get that. I don't know if I'll level up faith too much now. Because I know I'm not going to be leveling up attunement anymore now that I know I don't need mana. I was going to level up mana more so that I could use more weapon arts, eh? But uh, I don't see that as necessary anymore. I just want to check really quickly on camera here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. It's interesting. It's interesting. I want to take a quicker look around here too because there's very interesting art around here. So this is the coffin, eh? I want, like, I want to know if- is there a way to get in here? Beware of only. Hmm. Yeah, that boss fight was interesting. Once again, another trick boss, but... Uh, those dudes by themselves are harmless. And they- even in a group, they were still pretty damn harmless. Look at the chains hanging from the ceiling. Very, very cool. Yeah, I'm, I, there's all these, like, walls here, and I don't want to go up to every single one looking for an invisible wall, but you never know, right? And this will only take two seconds anyway, really. Damage the shit out of my claymore. I didn't actually have any more Titanite to do any infusions or anything like that. I already... Oh, what's this? Liar head. Yeah, it's... There we go, yeah. That's what I was looking for. I'm just gonna hit this one, because I think I might have missed it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's gonna be any in here. I doubt it. But these are... This would be a good place to hide one, because... I would, if you didn't check every single one, you would miss it, right? Right? I'm not insane, am I? Wow, riveting gameplay. Fuck. Okay, you know what? Last one. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. And plus there'd be a message in front of one of them anyway that's saying, Hey, look, secret. But I think that's it for the Cathedral of the Deep. So the only way forward now that I know of is the, uh... Uh, in the swamp there. But really quickly, I do have a key I haven't used for uh, yet. If you remember a few, few episodes ago, I got a key... Uh, the tower key. Key to the... Ah, uh, shit. Key to the dilapi dilapidated tower behind the shrine. That's not the one I'm looking for. I got the... Lift chamber key. Key to the underground lift. Key to the room of the, of the lift that descends to the deepest dungeon in Lothric. A surviving dark wraith from the land swallowed by darkness is said to be there. Held there. Now, it's in Lothric. So that means that I'm, I must have to go back to Lothric, and I think I know where this goes. I think I do. So I'm gonna just double check really quick. Uh, we'll go to the bonfire. Fucking can't believe I missed this thing. I mean, just to defend myself, I mean, I, I still managed to beat the area afterwards with Anestis to spare. So, uh, not the worst. 
thing in the world. Plus, like, that er first area was not exactly the hardest in the world, so I could quickly get through it. Uh, that bonfire is kind of unnecessary. But this one, I mean. Uh, but, okay, like, that's gotta be a fucking level. There's no way- I mean, there is that ladder that goes up, if, you're, if I remember correctly, in the, uh... Ooh. Yeah, I've never spawned on this bonfire before, so I don't know what to expect. You can't jib and jive me, motherfucker. No, 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 no. Okay, I just kill you real quick. Drop down here. There'll be a big old asshole. Sup, bitch? And I'll stab you in the back. Oh, that didn't kill him. I'm starting to think that my weapon might be uh, like my. I've been spreading out the titanite a little bit too thinly between my weapons. Aha! Yes, I thought so. Because I, I I remember there being a door I didn't open here, so. But uh, I'm starting to think I might have spread my Titanite a little too slim, because I can't find I haven't found a vendor that sells Titanite yet, so. Fingers crossed that that happens, because that would really suck if I can't. If I'm, like, gimped. That would make a lot of sense, though. Um. Oops, no, 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 no. That's ah, great. I'll just do this. I was trying to see if, uh, I didn't know, like, it looked weird. It looked like it might have been an NPC, but no. There's tons of. Oh. Oh. Hello, Mr. Dark Wraith. So, this is a dude from Dark Souls 1. Uh, these are the, uh,. This is essentially the Invasion Covenant from Dark Souls 1, is these dudes, and these dudes were the, uh, uh, they would essentially just seek out undead to take their humanity. But because we are unkindled, we don't have humanity, we have embers. So I wonder what he's going to be able to do here. Let's see. That's a lot of dead Lothric Knights. Time for Dark Spirit! Let's do this, buddy. Oh, I also allotted Estus. Uh, I had an extra Estus shard, so now I have eight Estuses, which is a lot. Let's see. Now the real fight begins. I doubt he's friendly. Ah! No! No, 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 no. Yes, there. Okay, that's the Dark Hand, if you wanted to see it. He seems to like that combo. I really like that. That weapon art is really nice. Oh, big hit. And you're dead. Too easy! Oh. Wow. That's a great drop. Holy cow. So we can get a better look at him here. That, oh wow, that is way better than the Dark Souls 1 armor art. It was a little too, mu too like, white, I guess you could say. Like, there's a lot, like, that's more, like, metal-looking, almost. Or bone color. Where it was more like a, like a, like a fake, dr hand-drawn skeleton white, if you know what I mean. In the, uh, first game. With a lot of, lot of black. Like, a really dark black, and it was very contrasting, kind of looked like shit. But... That looks really cool. I like his armor set. In fact, if I get it, I'm going to wear it for a bit. Yeah, because uh, I'm getting kind of a... Like, I really like this armor, but I think it's time for a change. So maybe next episode I'll be wearing something different. Who knows? But yeah, cool. I'm glad I didn't die to him. That's handy. Uh, let's make sure... Oh, yeah, I'll read that item description in two seconds here. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. So, anybody, any guesses on what this item is? <laughs> Invade other worlds at will. Unlimited use. Online play item. Defeat the host of embers of the world you have invaded to gain the strength of fire. The red eye orb is rooted in a tiny land swallowed by darkness long ago. Some choose to put the orb to other uses to embark on this path. Enter the service of Rosaria in the Cathedral of the Deep. There's an NPC I missed? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I... Strange. So these are the cracked red eye orbs. So you can see it's literally this, but just all smashed up. And these are the one-use uh, uh, items, which I haven't used any yet. But maybe I'll make a PvP video soon? Who knows? Who knows? We'll see.
Very cool, very cool though. Just a little side thing to do. Always fun. Go back up. So, oh man, now, now I'm gonna... Now I'm racking my brain trying to think of anything I missed in that... In that castle there. It's probably an illusionary wall or something like that. Maybe, maybe we'll, maybe we'll get told of where to go with him. Uh, I'm just ma thinking maybe that, uh, we go back to Firelink, and there'll be, uh, what's his face there? The, uh, dude that gave us those cracked eye orbs and told us, to, and the key to come down here. Maybe he'll, uh, he'll come back and tell us, hey, by the way, if you want to pursue even further with this whole, uh, scheme, <laughs> Come back, uh, go to Cathedral of the Blue and look at here. Or Cathedral of the Deep, my bad. The Blue? What the hell am I talking about? Oh. Oh yeah, by the way, if you haven't noticed, uh, Firelink Shrine is at the bottom of every screen, so you can just link back to the Firelink, uh, from every tele uh, travel screen, which is handy. Let's see, are you up there? No. Oh yes he is! Haha! -ha! Talk to me, baby. Aha, you found a proper red eye. Brilliant. I knew you were no ordinary man. Applause. Now invade and pillage all you like. And if you grow weary of your duty, you too may become a finger. Come on, give yourself to Rosaria of the Cathedral of the Deep. <laughs> Tell me more. Now invade and pillage all you like. And if you grow weary of your duty, you come on. <laughs> oh, that's no help. Well, you know what I might do is I might wander around off camera. Just level, maybe farm a little bit. See if I can uh, get some souls to uh, get my faith up a little bit. Uh, off, off screen I'll do that for sure. But the only thing left to do now as far as the... Yeah, I, I think I'm probably gonna end the episode right here. It's a little short, not too bad. I mean, we got that's pretty packed full with stuff, so not the biggest loss ever. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is my name's Paisley. This has been my Dark Souls Three Let's Play, and uh, on the next episode, potentially depending if I can find her, we'll go visit Rosaria of the Cathedral of the Cathedral of the Deep, and we'll see what's on that other branching path at the swamp there.